So I came to Jamaica to find out about our black history, culture, and food that still exists to today after centuries of slavery. And I know most of you are also curious to find out. So I'm in Motown, one of the maroon settlements in Jamaica. And this can be found in the eastern part of Jamaica, Portland. The major maroon town in Jamaica are the Motown and the Compound Town, which also means a champon. The word maroon means runaway slaves. So in this video, I have Ras Solomon, who's an elder in the Motown community, and he'll be telling us some history about the slaves and everything that happened in Jamaica. So if this is the first time watching, can you subscribe and share after watching the video? Yes, my brother. Yeah, how you doing? Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So what's your mission? Okay, so my mission is that, um, so basically I do food videos of African local food. And uh, when I, I post, I, I was having this comment that we have the same food mm -hmm. in Jamaica. We have the same ingredients in Jamaica. And aside that, there's this discussion in Ghana that the slave, we have uh, Ghanaians in, in Jamaica. You know, mm -hmm. slavery took some of our forefathers over here. Mm -hmm. That one plus the food aspect made me or got me more curious. To come and witness what's going on over here okay so my mission is to is, is like <coughs> discovering what we've been hearing back home if is it is like it's true or not and when i came yes i've seen some ingredients of food which look similar like what we have over there in ghana and uh, now i want to know more insights about the, the slavery aspects okay of it. yeah so that's what brings you to mortal you yeah, know you know mortal is one of the special place yeah so what do you learn about Motown before you come here? The, mo the whole thing about Motown is that they, they are this, this maroon that fought, that was able to fight the British mm -hmm. uh, back in the days. Mm -hmm. and so like we have this West African culture which exists over here. Okay. Yeah, so okay. that was the reason, like what I knew about, about mm -hmm. Motown before mm -hmm. coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when I came to, I did a tour, I had it was a nanny for, okay. and I, I was told that there's the nanny mm -hmm. that fought the British. And it's, we have the similar story in Ghana there was this queen mm -hmm. uh, who she also fought the, the British back home in Ghana. She called Ya Asantua. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of the same story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. they, they have a place in Britain, um, a, a community centre yeah. called Ya Asantua yes. Art oh. Centre. Where, where? In Britain? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's uh, in West London somewhere there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's kind in, of... in truth, um, as come to our research yeah. and our finding, yeah, we um, most of us people originate from Ghana. Over here, the maroon town. Yeah. Okay. Um, long and short, I, we were taken away from our land to a different land, like all over the um, the Caribbean, yeah, and the, um, Brazil, America, yeah. because of our skill. Okay. Because the more skill you are. Okay. Depending then on location. You, you have more price on your head. Okay. You, you know about the black um mm -hmm. the black wall street. Yeah. So some of those things are really fact. Okay. And we follow as me as a Rasta man, we follow the history because <clears throat> and I grew up to um in this community and grew up to see all people in different kind of um elements. Okay. And I do a little research, and my finding here yeah, is similar. Okay. <clears throat> because them say Granny Nanny come from Ghana. Okay. One uh, one historian say, well not historian, but one whole lady said to me, Granny Nanny wasn't a slave. Okay. She didn't come as a slave. Okay. Um, she come to free her brother and sisters that was taken away from Ghana. They, 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 she come to free her brothers. In bondage. Yeah, that was taken away because we are royalty and there is certain royal, from, once you come from certain royal yeah, house, yeah. then the chief or the king want to know where the son is or where the daughter is. Exactly. And when you get told that you were taken away by a slave master, because why most of us end up here? Because an in-fight thing. Yeah. We have a fight inside Ghana. Yeah. And the fight takes us into the prison. Yeah. The prison of no return. Okay, yeah. The yeah. dungeon. Yeah. And when they take us into the prison of no return, next morning, when we go to look for our people, 
They see. already shipped out. So that's why I call it no return. Yeah, no return exactly. Because we don't know. And then the king sent troops. So these, like you say, Asante war. Asante war, Asante war. Them kind of warrior there. Yeah. Granny Nanny. They send them people there to look for. And that's what they, they, they reach up here. Okay. They end up here. Okay. And when they end up here, they have to fight the Spanish. Because the Spanish was the first. The first, yeah, yeah. Queen of Masters. Yeah, so they have to fight the Spanish. And they end up fighting the British. Wow. So after they end up fighting the Spanish, they end up fighting the British because the British, the British come and the British topple the Spanish. Yeah, okay. They take over, they kill the Spanish them and take over the land and some of the, um, the first, the Tainos okay. that was here. Yeah? Okay. So they kill enough of them and they didn't know that they have Nani and the troop to contend with. So, okay, okay. So the, 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 like, the British thought they, they, they were only Spanish people to conquer. Yeah. Okay. But Nani was here. Okay. So they fight the war and when they fight the war, they come to agreement. The British want to stop the war because it wasn't in their favor. Mm. Um, so they want to stop the war. So they ask for a peace treaty, wow. a secular agreement. And they get an agreement with the um, Leeward, I think it's the Leeward Maroon. Yeah. And they um, settle an agreement that they would live on a certain amount of land and they wouldn't be disturbed and they can live as long as they, they from won't. generation to generation. Wow. They come to this part of the um, Jamaican island. island and they want to settle with the same thing with the um, Granny Nanny. Granny Nanny says she don't want a peace treaty, you don't want to sign nothing with them. So um, in the long history, a short height. They leave and went somewhere else. Okay. Granny Nanny went somewhere else. And um, there was a man called Kweku. Kweku? Yeah, he signed a treaty. With the British? Yeah, so we get to live on this land from, wow. from that time until now. Wow. We have several of the land, many parts of the land, that take by taken away back by the British, British okay. because of the British have some of the um, the Jamaican to fight war for them ah. in England because they were fighting their battle in England all over you know I mean England and Canada and places like yeah, that yeah, yeah. so when some of those people come back from war after they come back from war, some of them was like colonel, like general yeah, in yeah, the yeah, army. Yeah, yeah. So they give them a certain amount of land to 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 to, to live on. Kind of yeah. case. So most of them get the land by that free will, yeah, and okay. they, um, some of them go and register with the British tax office, so they start paying tax for the land. And so most of these land that we we talk about, granting on the land. It's on taxation. Okay. But deep down, we have land straight from one end of the island to the next end. You know what I mean? Because we get that free okay. because of our um, entanglement with the British. Okay. Wow. So the, the name Kweku that you mentioned, like that's a typical Ghanaian I can name Kweku. Yeah, yeah. Kweku. Kweku, yeah. When is mm -hmm. they born? I see it there. Yeah. Like a Kweku. But do you have, do you have, because I heard that the, the locals over here have some languages that look similar like the Ghanaian Akan language. Do you, yeah. do, you, do you have one? Yeah, we do. Um, but yeah. I, I don't speak the do you, language. Do you just speak the language? Okay. No, because why I don't get to speak the language? Most of our people, when they, um, the slave agreement signed, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, we was get to put in a, like a, a reservation like the Indian. Okay. So we have to speak the English. Wow. So most of us like was determined not to speak that language. Exactly. Most of us determined to keep the language but not to uh, speak it out loud. Exactly. We teach it to one another who want to learn. Yeah, okay. Some people didn't want to learn the language because they t they're tired of the war. Yeah. They don't want to war anymore so they, they make an agreement not to fight, not to, and they, the British build a school. Okay. And they build a church. Okay. And these things like, 
to indoctrinate we. So we, we just like Africa, they come to Africa yeah, yeah, exactly. with Jesus yeah, yeah, yeah. Christ. Yeah, Jesus and Christ, when they yeah, come to G Africa with Jesus Christ, they tell you that your voodoo, it's not your good. Hobia, yeah. you have to chew it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep the eyes. And then you come with the Bible. With the Bible. Yeah. Because the Bible come with a, a, a certain rule and regulation. Yeah. And wow. Because these things indoctrinate yeah. so most of us never get to learn the language Which, okay. you, have, you have lots of people like the whole of people teach to their children some words and they tell them not to go out and say certain some things words, okay. so they keep that kind of seal okay. some of them around you still have you met the colonel yet no okay well he's one okay to be met okay, okay. so he can give you a, a, a good uh, you know a good eyelids of the, the language because he's in charge oh, okay here. this is his community oh okay you know okay. he's responsible for this community okay. and uh, and in uh, as kind of my liberty and our research yeah it's take me into some very interested place and to hear some very interested people talk okay about the african liberty and the african language i met um um a record in prs in England mm -hmm. and he's from Ghana. Okay. He told me he come to Jamaica. When he come to Jamaica, when there was um, they, they, they extract two some bodies from the ground and they want to take them back to Ghana. Yeah. And then we have the chief of Ghana come. Yeah. One of the chief come down and uh, okay. he met the local maroon. That he was telling me that, you know. Okay. He met the local Maroon. And when he met the local Maroon, the chief and them was talking in the same language. Okay. And the chief was surprised that people who leave Africa over 400 years still remember the language. Still have the language written in them. And the chief could understand. He, he, he couldn't believe it. Yeah. So that was like a, a great. It was a great thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. It's a good feeling to know that we still keep a the, link, the weird language. you know, from that time until now. Yeah. And if most of us go out in the public and start talk, um, people are not going to understand us because we're speaking in different language. language, you know, apart from English or Spanish yeah, or yeah, yeah. French or Dutch or German. Yeah. You get me? So yeah, yeah, yeah. we do have that kind of ties. And um, we do keep it over the years. Okay. So the rest are coming in now, and the rest are start research the language. Okay. And research the culture, and because we wasn't agree with the um, the way that the the slave master and the British, the British as a slave master, and the um, the Romans, the Romans, okay, you know, propagate certain thing, talk certain thing, and deal with certain things. So we we, we don't agree with them. And it bring we into disrepute, and this you know you know what I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. and distance yourself. Yeah, yeah. So that like in the fifties we have a war, Rasta just coming up. They have a war with the British government. With um, well, I say the British government yeah, because yeah. Jamaica in Jamaica, you know. So yeah, yeah. it lead us into a next separation and brutality and all kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. But today we can say that we reach a. a, a um, quite a distance in agreement right, and okay. acceptation that we accepted into society and okay. we, we can you know move the same way like them we have the same passport we have the same license so it's make a difference for we as a rasta so for, okay. as a black people, people okay because most of the land they think that was um our ancestor was fighting for the rasta come up and start rebel okay and fight Again, same kind of thing, the same way. So, we learn to, uh, we, 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 was, we have to establish, because once we learn certain things, we establish the African culture. Exactly. Which most of the, um, the people in the, in the society now working for the British, they are afraid to, to, st to talk certain yeah. things. They are afraid, you know what I mean? Yeah. But we are not afraid because exactly. we, we, we want to fight and we have the same kind of zeal like we are ancestors. Exactly. So we take up the same kind of buckle in a different way. Not going on stone and buckle, but by words, 
and the reggae music and the drums. Yeah. You know, so we established that around the world. And wow. we as the African can be proud now so that you know we're moving forward still. Okay. okay. Yeah. My my next question that would be like um do you guys feel to be because I know most I spoke to a lady some time ago and uh through this my food thing and uh she's from uh Tenigo, Tobago and uh she was a bit ang like she feel this anger or pain in her in the sense that she's come to notice that this living thing wasn't just a mere thing like our people our leaders mm -hmm. sold us to these white folks the white the, 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 the british so there's this kind of anger so i, I know there are lots of caribbeans when you say that when you tag them as africans mm -hmm. they don't want it mm -hmm. Because of, the, yeah, yeah. because of the pain and the anger. Yeah, yeah. So I would like to know from you, you've been here and uh, seen all or studied all this generational uh, thing. I'd like to know, do you feel to be tagged African and do you even have the dream to go back to Africa one day? For me personally, yeah. Um, deep down, when I and I do I and I research, yeah. the first people that sold me into slavery yeah. was the Muslim. Muslims. Muslim, because Muslim, we was more closer fighting with the Muslim because yeah. after the Jesus Christ story, yeah. the Muslim come. Muhammad. Right? Yeah. If you know that. The Jesus Christ story come to us in Africa. Yeah. And then the Muslim, Muslim come. come. Yeah. yeah. Because Muslim come 4 AD. 4 AD, okay. So, yeah? Yeah. So, Jesus Christ come 2,222 years ago. Yeah. And then the Muslim come after that. Those are the two most prominent religions in the world in the, today. Exactly. So we, as a African, what religion have we got? What God have we got in Africa to say, well, that is that Tande, yeah. that black is our God. The Muslim have ha uh, Hala. Yeah. The Christian have Jesus Christ. Yeah. What does the black man have? The Chinese man have Buddha. Yeah. The Indian have Krishna. Yeah. Yeah? The Jews have Jesus Jews. Yeah. For me, how we become most of us for me, or may I put it, most of us become slave because of what we accept. From the white. Because we in you know we 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 we, we bond ourselves to, to, to the, the white man or to the um the Muslim. Because uh, you know what I mean? We up to now, we don't have a God, do we? I, the, the, we had gods, right? Oh, the small gods. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold okay. On. <laughs> As I explained to you, okay. The Christian of Jesus, Jesus Christ, yeah, yeah. which is a white man. Yeah, yeah. The white man bring that to Jesus, us. Yeah, yeah. The Muslim is Allah. Oh, yeah, the Muhammad. Muhammad yeah, bring Muhammad. that to us. Yeah. The Hindu steer India with the Indian yeah, God. The Buddhist and all those stuff. The Buddha steer China with China yeah, God. Yeah, hmm? yeah. But for me, the long and short of it, most of us wasn't sold in slavery. Okay. And most of us still want to go back to Africa. Africa is our land, the black man, black 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 people land. Okay. China is China land. Yeah. India is India land yeah. because they they farm. So we have a long history which it's very hard to explain but the long and short of it I personally yeah I've been back to um Ethiopia okay in Ghana I'm yet to be, go to Ghana okay. because there's so much people would like to see me in Ghana yeah, yeah, okay. I haven't been there yet yeah, okay and there's so much people would like to see me in Ghana but still I haven't been there but as I said most of the Christian view, they, they don't want to go back to Africa okay. because they already accept the white man and they've um, been they don't indoctrinated yeah, by yeah. the white man. Yeah. So they, anything we tell them about Africa, they say, well, it's a no. Because the first time I tell a girl, I go to Africa, yeah, she said to me, Oh, better man than you me over there. <laughs> That's supposed to mean. <laughs> yeah, so they mean they might eat you. Right? <laughs> might make sure you don't come back. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yesterday I took a, I took a, I took a taxi to the nation market, and there was this guy inside. So he, so he got to know that I'm from Africa. Mm -hmm. He said, "Man, you know what they've been telling us about Africa? <laughs> that when you go there, they chop you for air, they eat you, yeah. and love." I said, "No, it's not true." Those those kind of things, because. 
the language yeah. that they, we've been taught yeah. English English taught we not to believe in Africa yeah. because Africa is a Devilish. desolate place you can't go there you can't live there appear wild people because of the things that they are done and they want to like oh, what would I say now they want to crush your mind you crush your mind bring, yeah, so bring we, don't, we don't so that's why they give we the Bible and the school so we can learn proper English so we can work in an English industry exactly. speak English work in an English industry and build up the English empire so that your empire goes down, down. Yeah. so that's why Africa is what is today and then you can talk about Africa is this and Africa is yeah, that exactly. it's our home, it's our yard we should have fixed up our, our yeah. place but we're here exactly. looking after the white man land we are here looking after the white people place. Yeah. We are here fighting for the white people, living their life, speaking their language, Wait, eating their food. Exactly. We, most of us don't eat, never eat uh, African food. Yeah. Never taste. Really? Uh, most of us never really taste African food, brother. Wow. You understand me? Though we have similar food. Yes. But different kind of preparation. Preparation in the name, but like yeah, by the same thing. But most of these things. It's come to it lately. Most of these things that we eat, it get thrown at we from in the slave ship. Okay, echo. Right? So this this takes me back to my question that I've been, I've been thinking about that we have similar. No, I can't say similar. We have same food, mm. plants, flowers, same, everything yeah, in same, Ghana, same, same and thing. we have the same thing. So how come these seeds or fruits are like we were able to be here to be planted? Well, most of those, like. After the agreement, some of us come to, come to us because we have small trade and small communication. Okay. So most of us come to, come to us. Whether well, you come from different parts of the earth, but we you know we kind of stick to these kind of food because we like them more. Okay. It's put more um, um, strength in our body. Yeah. It gives you more brain. You know what I mean? Make we do more things, Stuff, yeah. see more things, make we hear more things. So. We sound so feed up on the food. Oh, okay. It's like what the maroon use the herbs. It's from the earth. And as I'm see, you have cocoa plant, you yeah, have yeah, banana, banana etc. Yeah, yeah. You know, mango, you have pineapple, oh, exactly. etc. So yeah. you see them thing. So it's like when it's like you guys requested for it and they brought it to you guys. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because after we refuse to eat certain the, things, food? most of the thing okay. wasn't here, so okay. we have to, you know. Request. Yeah. And to keep us here. It's like the English. Yeah. The inner England. The England go right around the world yeah. and take different people. Different people and plus different food, flowers and bring it to England. So that they can um attract us. The same people. So that to when stay. we come to England, we don't wanna leave. Because you have the same food over there. We don't we, we don't wanna hear nothing about Africa. Yeah. Because we're comfortable here yeah. and we don't know where you've been told Africa is a wild place yeah. and, be, and just be a war because they create the war in Africa. I understand. To um to prevent us from going back. Look man, the Jews have the biggest diamond mine in Africa. Mm. And the Jews is not a black man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hmm? The Jews have the biggest diamond mine in Africa and he's not an African why is not the African have the mine? Yeah. Why don't we, why don't we control the island in Ghana? Why don't we control the gold and the diamond in, in, in South Africa? Yeah. Why don't we control the the gold in, in Cape Coast in, in Gold Coast? Gold, yeah. hmm? Why don't we control these things? Because the white man him try to Conquer dominate it, yeah. or him dominate yeah. them and have we to work for him exactly. as a servant yeah. and we take up the position and proud of it and don't even want to say nothing about the, the boss because you're going to upset the boss and okay. the boss going to fire you you, can't have, you don't have a job you don't have the yeah. wills and the means to create a job for yourself yeah. so most of us rather work for a penny a day more than go work for ourselves. So we understand. And most of us end up in a disposition because of that. You know, they treat we away so we don't have no time to think, to think about back home. The food that they give we kinda mess the brain up. Yeah. 
It's a long history, my brother. Yeah, yeah this yeah. very, very long history. It's, yeah, it's very know. hard to explain. explain everything. Yeah, and, uh, I you think can pick one and two things and get the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I think this is my final. I said final, but I remember. I just remember something. Yeah, during the discussion, your your conversation, you said that uh, you guys were uh, they didn't come here as slave. How was it, Granny Nanny? Yeah, no, I'm no, Ghanani came here to rescue. Yeah. But the, the, those who were shipped, were they. Because your sister told me that you came here as workers. Like you came here as free people. But when you got here, that's when the slavery thing started. Most of us, as I said, from my research, yeah. taken from the gates of no return, okay. yeah. most of us taken from different parts of Africa yeah. as a prisoner. Yeah. Because you end up in a prison, yeah, you're yeah. fighting against each, each other. other. Exactly. So, British come and you want to support that, 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 that a leader there. So, you give them guns and yeah. Bible. And so, you, you, you just like how oh, they give you guns and Bible here. So you, you take up that position for X amount of here and then you, you imprison people and you, t you ship them out. Yeah, okay. They have a thing amongst themselves which some people behave in badly in Liverpool, England. Yeah. And they ship them out to Australia. Okay. And kill off so much of the harbour region and them and massacre oh, yeah. the harbour region and them kind of black people and take over the land and live there now. So there's a lot of research yeah, okay. to be done. To you be know? done, okay. Okay. Yeah, so uh, thank you very much. Please your name again. In in the cultural language, they uh, call me Ras Salaman. Ras Salaman. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Ras Salaman. Okay. King David. You know, yeah, Ras Salaman. Yeah, so, like the knowledge there. So yeah. You kind of search with history and then we find yourself in a some position. And when we find yourself in a some position, we take a name because of the position that we find ourselves. Mm -hmm. But still, some of us need still need to find our right route and get our right name because mm. I'm not really sure that right that name is right for, for me. me still, okay. but you know, because <laughs> I'm the chicks and make sure I have a guardian yeah. name. Yeah, we are, we are giving you a cool. <laughs> Me come from me, me kind of accept that I come from Ghana. My yeah. original come from Ghana. Okay. So uh, you know. Ah, I've come to accept that. Yeah. Oh, wow. To, uh, uh, you know, oh, it's really impressive. that. My route is from Ghana. Wow. Yeah, that's on the song. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I would want, I really want to follow up that still. Yeah, yeah, okay. And do a research. You have a place in Ghana called Makati Hill. Makati Hill, yeah, that's the before uh, from like in Accra. Makati yeah. Hill. That's where so, from, okay. My name is Makardi. Mac okay, Makati. So okay. I wanna know in uh, the long shot and run. If that name really a Ghanaian name or is it a British slave? Because it was thought that is a British, British name. name. Yeah. So because when British came, they were they were giving names to streets and uh, the places. So Makati, we have a governor called Sir Makati. There was a governor during the Gold Coast area mm -hmm. called Sir Makati. Well, you see, because um, over the years, yeah. the language changes. Changes. A similarity of similarity yeah. but because of how we speak the language changes and the name sort of watered down yeah. you, you get me so yeah. you don't get the full understanding Standing of the, the whole name thing. unless yeah. you do more research, research exactly. in that so yeah. this is what me personally would like to do search all about my roots okay. and find where I and I exactly That's place from. you from from. Okay. But at the moment I'm claiming God. Uh, claiming God. Yeah, <laughs> oh, we are we accepting you also. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> we are accepting you. Yeah, we need you. We need you. Yeah, yeah we yeah, need man. you. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That is like this is like present conversation. I've, I've, I've loved it. I mean, topping up my career, I already call Jamaican trip. Mm -hmm. Man, this is one of the amazing uh, interview that I've done or the conversations that I've done, and uh, I hope you guys also love it. Yeah, so basically, I, I, I believe this kind of conversation will clear some doubt from some of you guys what you've been thinking about the slavery and the Ghanaian community in Jamaica. Yes, there is Ghanaian community in Jamaica, West African community in Jamaica. That's the practice, uh, the culture and everything. And as you've heard, heard, uh, you've heard the conversation, everything is clear and understandable. So thank you, Mr. Ras Solomon, right? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Ras Solomon, I'll come back again in Jamaica because this was just six, seven days trip. Mm -hmm. So I come you back. You need to come on the celebration. When is that? Uh, it would be next year, October. So, okay. Um, sometime it goes from six, um, from seventeen to to the nineteen of October. Yeah. Okay. So, so 
try and make um, a, a trip one at a time so that you can come and see, see the festival the display. Okay. And you know what's going on. You have one in St. Elizabeth as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Maroon Town over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So uh, I need to come back again with like more like a month of, yeah, of stay to, to yeah, dig in. But it's, it's really amazing, you know, it's really amazing. Like I saw the Aquaba thing over there. I had instant, I had group all mm -hmm. over my skin. I said, mm -hmm. wow, man. And like, wow. Mm -hmm. Thank you once again. And uh, yeah. I hope to see you again. Mm -hmm. Share, share, share. Let's make sure you share the video after watching. And uh, if you this is your first time watching, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a brother. So that we to do more. Let's meet again. Cooking with Cinder Co. For shizzle. I'm out. Arcodo. <laughs> mm.